Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be replacing the drain hose on my washing machine. So I've got a new one here. This is an eight foot drain hose. I picked this up at Lowe's for 15 bucks. They have eight foot and six foot. So you just gotta get whichever one is right for your particular application. Now I went with the eight foot because my washing machine is on the left hand side, but my drain is all the way over there against the wall. So I needed to make sure that it was gonna be long enough. Six foot probably would have been long enough, but I didn't want the hose to be uh, just like stretched out and then have the weight of the water kind of pull it down and end up pulling it out of the wall or anything like that. So I just went with the eight foot just to make sure it was definitely long enough. Um, so basically why I'm replacing this is my old one started leaking. So we come down here, you can see it's resting on top of the dryer vent there and it's all fine and dandy, right? But what ends up happening is when there's water in this and the pump starts going, the hose starts moving around like that. Let me show you the bottom here. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but right there, there's a line. And right here where I'm pointing with my pinky is pretty close to where the hole is that the water was coming out of. I'm just gonna show you how to quickly change this thing out. It's super easy. All you need is a screwdriver and I think that's it. Uh, maybe a utility knife if you need to cut the hose down at all. All right, let me turn the washing machine around so we can get a better look at it. All right, up here, the drain hose just sits in. I just have a couple twist ties holding it uh, tied to this just to make sure it didn't pop out of here ever. So I'm gonna need to take those off. And then on the bottom side here, there's just a uh, little nut uh, clamp thing here, hose clamp. <laughs> so I'm just gonna need to loosen that hose clamp and pull that off. And there is still water in the pipe. So you just wanna be careful when you disconnect this thing, you hold up both ends so that you don't drain all the water that's in there all over the floor. All right, so on my hose clamp, I've got one of these uh, screwdrivers that you can take the ends out. And mine actually has two different sized ends. So there's the normal quarter inch size, which is what most of these tips are. Uh, but on the other side, it has a bigger one. I don't know what size that actually is, 5 16 or 3 8 but that bigger size actually works on the hose clamp or else it's a flathead for my particular clamp in general. So I'm just gonna loosen that. Just loosen that up and that'll be ready to come right off. All right, there we go. Okay, so in my case, there was actually a lot of residual water in the machine. So once I pulled the pipe off, a bunch of water just flowed out. So I have a towel on standby. And now I'm just gonna reverse the process with my new hose. Super simple. Hey, if you're getting anything of value out of this right now, go down below, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified when I release new videos. Now this hose in particular, I got from Lowe's, like I said, 15 bucks. Uh, there was no hose clamp with this. So it was just the hose, that's all that came with it. Basically looks exactly the same as the other one. So you just gotta reuse your hose clamp or if you don't have one of these, you can go buy them at the hardware store or Lowe's or whatever. Uh, some of them that I've seen online do have the clamp with it. I will put a link for a hose that comes with the clamp down in the description so you can pick one up if you want. Now these are also set up for three different hose sizes in particular. So you just have to check and see which size fits snugly onto your washing machine. And then if you have to cut it down, you just cut it with a utility knife, right to size. All right, hopefully you can see this, but that's way too big, right? So I know I have to cut it down. So I'm gonna cut the first one off just to see. And just like that, you just follow that line right around. Be very careful you don't cut yourself. If you have a piece of plywood or something, you could set it on that. It makes it a lot easier to cut it, but. Okay, so I got the first one off. Let's try the second one. Still a little too loose. So I'm gonna go down to that last fitting. Okay, so I've cut that down and it's nice and snug. So I'm gonna make sure to put my hose clamp on first and push that on there really good. Make sure it's really on there. And then we're just gonna tighten it back down. Make sure the clamp is um, where those threads are. So let's see if I can pull it back off. I can't even get it back off. That sounds good. 
Anyway, you just want to make sure it's in the right spot so that's clamped onto the fitting that's coming out of the dryer or the washing machine. Tighten it down. Really tight, but not too tight because it's all plastic. So you just want to be hand tight until it's starting to really give you some resistance. Don't over tighten or you can break stuff. All right, so now that it's connected on that end, I'm just going to stretch out the hose and we're going to put it in the drain. <laughs> it's all wanting to just recoil back up. So, all right, so then this goes right in the pipe like that. Now, see how it's all loose and wobbly here? That's why I have a twist tie, but I'm actually going to add some extra length to this. So I'm going to pop this out. Come on, pop it out of its frame like that. And then I'm going to stick a little extra hose down the pipe just to make sure that there's plenty of hose in the pipe. Uh, and then put this thing back like that so that when I put it in there, now the pipe is all the way down inside here quite a ways. And hook up my twist tie again. Right like that, now it can't come out. Okay, so because the hose came all coiled up, it's wanting to go back to its natural position, but after time of this sitting on there uh, and water running through it, it will kind of flatten itself out. So that will be okay. Um, I just wanna show you here too, look at what it did to the dryer vent. It wore through the dryer vent as well as through the hose. So before I uh, seal this back up, I'm gonna throw a piece of duct tape over this just to make, up its, make sure it's sealed really good. And then to prevent this from happening again, I think I'm gonna get one of those, you know you can get them at the hardware store, they're like a bicycle hook. It's a big rubber hook. It's coated in rubber. I think I'm gonna get one of those and mount it here so that the hose has something rubberized that it will ride on versus being on this metal thing. Um, I think that will help. You could probably put some sort of a hose clamp or like a zip tie attached to a screw or something like that. Something that will just hold this off of this in the future if you have a problem like this. Uh, you just wanna be careful about what this is gonna rub against because as you can see, it can very easily puncture a hole in this. And that was installed probably maybe a year and a half ago um, and it wore through there. So it hasn't been in here a very long time. Actually, here's a little sneak peek. There's the bike hook. I just installed it into the wall so the pipe won't hit. Um, I'm now a little bit concerned about the water lines hitting, but I don't know. I could just leave the water lines where they were because they weren't a problem before and just worry about that hose. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to monitor it and see how it looks down the road. All right. Now, if this stuff is hard to get out for you, you probably want to just run the machine and make sure the connections are good before you put everything all back and then you have to pull it back out again if there's some sort of a leak anywhere. But as long as the hose is good and there's no punctures in the hose that you just purchased, you should be good. Uh, again, as long as that's tightened down good, not over tightened. And as long as this is secured in here, everything should be good in theory. So yeah. <laughs> and if you have any hesitation about this at all, please call a plumber or a handyman or somebody that can do this for sure. All right, so before you put all this stuff back together, you just wanna make sure that this is working properly. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna put them back in and run it because I can pull it back out very simply. So if there is a leak, you just wanna make sure that it's not leaking before you just like say, oh, we're good, you know? Just, just double check everything. Uh, and also you might wanna check your hose connections just to make sure they didn't get loosened up while this was going on. Now, if you got anything out of this video, if it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you're interested in more videos like this, how-to stuff and DIY videos, I do tool reviews and other cool stuff on this channel, subscribe down below. You can actually click this circle here or subscribe the old-fashioned way. Click that subscribe button under the video and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I release new videos. And you can check out these two videos right here. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you later.